Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today the sexy little yellow e-bike I am riding around on is the Specialized Turbo Como SL. It is a beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. I am cruising this beautiful neighborhood that I could never afford to live in, so I think I'm just going to go for a fun ride and why don't you come along and join me. Oh, and we'll probably check out the bike too as well. The Specialized Turbo Como SL 5.0 is the latest in the SL or Super Light line of e-bikes from Specialized. 45 pounds or 20.5 kilos might not sound very lightweight to the spandex enthusiasts out there, but that's a featherweight for an electric cruiser bike. Now Specialized doesn't really call this a cruiser, probably because a cruiser bike doesn't sound luxurious, but the Turbo Como SL 5.0 is both, cruiserish and premium at the same time. You get that nice upright and comfortable seating position like a cruiser, the tall handlebars to keep your chest and eyes up, pedals that are slightly forward and again make the bike more comfortable to use. It just feels like a laid back cruiser, except with much, much nicer parts than you'd find on any cheap electric cruiser bike. That ultra lightweight SL 1.1 motor is a custom design from Specialized. They claim it's a 240 watt peak motor, but I eyed spurts above 400 watts on the digital display. Plus the bike gets up to 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour in the US. And those speeds take some real power. So Specialized can claim 240 watts all they want, but let's just say it feels like there's more power than the spec sheet lets on. Hidden away inside the down tube there is a 320 watt hour battery. That might sound small compared to many e-bikes these days, and it kind of is, but the pedal assist operation and that super efficient drivetrain mean you'll get more than twice the range of a throttle enabled e-bike packing twice the battery. Specialized will tell you that the range is up to 60 miles or about 100 kilometers or even 50% more range if you use their auxiliary battery booster, but I found that in a moderate pedal assist, I got about 75% of their estimated range, which is still pretty good. Even though it's a pretty small battery, which of course is necessitated by the super light designation of the bike, you still get a really efficient drivetrain, which helps eke out all those extra miles. And speaking of the drivetrain, oh, is it a beauty. That motor is not only super smooth and nicely programmed to give you a natural feeling assist, but it gets tied into a Gates carbon belt drive and the Shimano Alfine 8-speed rear hub. That internally geared hub there and the belt drive setup is just super slick. It's expensive, but it's slick. It means you've got a drivetrain that is no muss, no fuss, no mess, no maintenance, no anything other than just riding. It always works and it always works well. No clicking chain or derailleur that needs tuning, it just works. That's also where you'll find a lot of the expense in this bike though, with the bike starting at a hefty 4800 bucks in the US. That drivetrain with the custom motor, belt drive, and 8-speed internally geared hub isn't cheap. Neither is the custom designed everything, from the sleek load-bearing fenders that support a rear rack designed for panniers, or that front cargo basket with included bungee net, or the swooping frame with a nicely balanced grab handle on the middle placed right where the center of gravity is, making it easy to lift. Everything about the bike, it's just nicely designed instead of looking like a hodgepodge of parts chosen from a catalog. Even that kickstand is sleek, geez. So yeah, I mean, it is an expensive bike and I can't afford it and maybe you can't either, but someone can and that dude or duet is going to have an awesome e-bike. Despite the high price, I get why someone would buy one. This is the kind of comfortable e-bike that can do a combination of recreational cruising, city commuting, and even utility work. And it's designed to work day in and day out for years. There are other e-bikes out there for a fraction of the price, but with Specialized, you know the company designed it well and that they'll be around for years to come if you ever need service or you need a new battery or anything else. There's a reason people pay more, it's not just for the Specialized logo. It's because you really do get something quality. If you can afford it, that is. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Specialized Turbo Como SL. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time. Look to the left, look to the right.